Hi, my name is Andrea and I am the co-owner of Club Psy Kids MD. We're so excited that you are here with us today to do an experiment. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, different ingredients that you have in your kitchen and we're going to see what effect they have on cleaning a penny. Now in other videos you watched all about pennies, what they're made of, you learned fun facts, you also learned about oxidation and about how the copper starts to turn green when it is exposed to the elements. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do an experiment to see which kitchen ingredients will have the biggest effect on a penny. Now if you don't have the kitchen ingredients we have you can use any ingredients really at all. I'll walk you through the steps and then you can do the experiment and let us know your results. So super simple. All you need First, what you need to do is you need to go on the scavenger hunt and find some very dirty pennies. And probably some of your pennies, will you'll actually see that it does have some green oxidation on it um, that have already started to turn. So you need to find as many dirty pennies as you can. What we're going to do today is we're going to use these ingredients you see here. You can do less, you can do more. Um, it just depends on what you'd like to do. You just need small cups. If you don't have cups like these, bathroom cups work fine, little bowls, um, even if they're, you gotta wash them when you're done, just any little cups. They don't need to be very big. You're gonna set them out. I like to work on a paper towel because we don't wanna make a mess. Um, so what you're gonna simply do is you're going to decide which kitchen ingredients you're going to use and the other one is going to be salt water. So we're going to create our salt water. Some other great um, ideas that you can do is you can do hot water, cold water. You could do baking soda water. Um, all sorts of things that you have in your house. You could even try milk. So we're going to take some of each of our ingredients. So we are going to use mustard. Stick the mustard in there. We're going to use ketchup. Some vinegar. And if you're going to use a couple of different clear liquids, it's a good idea to label. And since I'm on a paper towel, I'm just going to write right on there vinegar. I'll write it so you can see it a V for vinegar. Then we'll do some salt water. Then the last one we're going to do, we're going to do some Pepsi. So then the next thing that you have to do, this is the messy part, you're just going to take the pennies and you're going to put them into your cups. If you have a whole bunch of pennies, what you can do is you can do more than one penny. Oh, we have a helper. You can put more than one penny in each cup. Um, and part of what we want to do is, as we're doing this, come up with a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a fancy word for what do you think is going to happen. So our question is, which kitchen ingredient is going to have the biggest effect on the penny? Will it clean the penny? Will it make the penny shiny? Which do you think is going to work or have the biggest effect on the penny? So you also, for here, the mustard, you can see how that penny is not covered. We need to make sure that that penny is totally covered. You can use your fingers. Also the ketchup, not covered. You want to make sure it's covered. And then the liquids are covered. So what you're going to do now is set your timer. You can do it for five minutes. You could do it for 10 minutes if you want to set it for five minutes. At the end of five minutes, take it out, check the results, and then put it back in for another five. That's up to you. I just made a super simple um, graph here, a chart that I'm going to use when I'm done. I have all of my ingredients listed across the top, and I'm going to write my hypothesis. I'm going to say that I think because the Pepsi has carbonation and the little bubbles, that that's going to have the biggest effect on the penny. So what I would do is I would write down Pepsi.
and it's on my chart. Now, let's fast forward and say that our five minutes are up. What you're going to do, this is also the messy part, you're going to take out the pennies and you're going to wipe them completely off. And I like to use this little chart because what I'm gonna do is I will set that penny right underneath the label so I don't get confused or forget which penny came from where. So my mustard penny is right here. We're gonna totally clean it off and put it in the mustard category. Then I'm gonna take the ketchup penny and put it in the ketchup category and so on and so forth. We won't notice a lot of change with my pennies because they were not in there for five minutes. But like I said, if you want to do it for five minutes, stop, take it out, put it back in. Um, that is part of the experiment. So we're interested to see which you find, which kitchen ingredient has the biggest effect on um, the appearance of the penny. We'd love to hear your results. We'd also love to hear some of the about some of the kitchen ingredients that you use. Um, we're excited to hear your results. Have a great experiment.